So we have already seen certain definitions in the Bondular theory. The important definition is that of the displacement thickness. Which is defined as delta star is equal to the integral 0 to infinity 1 minus u by u infinity dy. So this accounts for the deficit in the mass flux across the boundary layer. Similarly, we have seen another definition that of the momentum thickness which is theta is equal to 0 to infinity u by u infinity 1 minus u by u infinity dy which is the measure of the net deficit in the momentum. So now with these definitions we move on to the one common momentum integral method which can help us to obtain a relationship between wall shear stress and the velocity profiles. Alternately it can be also used to determine the thickness of the boundary layer. So let's see how exactly that whole thing works. So let us begin by using the x momentum equation for the boundary layer. So we have rho u del u del x plus v del u del y is equal to minus del p del x plus mu del 2 u del y 2. Let us divide everything by 1 by rho. Uh, so let us multiply everything by 1 by rho. So you have u del u del x plus v del u del y is equal to minus 1 by rho del p del x plus mu del 2 u by del y 2. We have already seen from the y momentum equation that the boundary layer the pressure gradient inside the boundary layer is imposed from the external conditions. So, whatever is the external condition, so del P del X external is the same as del P del X inside the boundary layer. There is no variation of pressure in the y direction. And thus as a consequence, this is the same as minus 1 by rho del P outside del X plus mu d to u by dy2 yeah, because u will be a function of y and so external to the boundary layer we have the Euler equation because outside the boundary layer there is no effect of viscosity and so outs outside the boundary layer you have the Euler equation where you have rho u infinity del u infinity del x is equal to minus <coughs> del p outside del x which implies minus 1 by rho del p outside del x is equal to u infinity del u infinity del x. So using this result in this particular step we do obtain u del u del x plus v del u del y is equal to u infinity del u infinity del x plus mu d2 ok so instead of writing this viscous term in the form of u we choose to write it in the divergence of stress form so essentially the viscous contribution comes from only this term we have already seen this in the class ok so there will be a 1 by rho over here as well. I forgot to write it. So viscous term is del del x tau xx plus del del y of tau xy. We have already seen this in the Navier-Stokes equation. So del del y of tau xy is what appears over here. So from this you obtain u del u del x plus v del u del y 
is equal to u infinity del u infinity del x plus 1 by rho del del y of tau xy where tau xy is understood to be the shear stress that is the only contribution of the viscous stress in the case of boundary layer theory tau xy is simply mu del u del y so if you substitute this mu del u del y in this equation you do obtain what we had written earlier you do obtain this equation but anyway we choose to write it in the form of a stress it makes life simpler and now the continuity equation is u uh, sorry del u del x plus del v del y is equal to 0 so now let us multiply this by u so multiply 1 by u and add to 2 so u del u del x plus u del v del y this is the contribution from multiplying u to this equation and adding it to this so plus u del u del x plus v del u del y is equal to u infinity del u infinity del x plus 1 by rho del del y of tau we just call it tau for now essentially we have just added 0 to the left hand side of this equation because continuity implies this so these two term combined to give 2u del u del x and then these two give us plus u del v del y plus v del u del y this is equal to the usual left hand side this particular term gives us del del x of u square and this particular term gives us del del y of u into v is equal to u infinity del u infinity del x plus 1 by rho del del y of tau ok so so far so good so now the aim is to do an integration over y and sort of get rid of various terms ok so the aim is to obtain the wall shear stress so we must integrate whatever we have whatever we have over the boundary layer so that you don't need to really look into what is going on microscopically but you obtain the behavior on an average so u let us integrate everything in y so integrate del del x of u square dy 0 to infinity plus so now integral of del del y of u into v dy 0 to infinity is equal to u infinity del u infinity del x integral 0 to infinity dy plus 1 by rho del del y of tau integral 0 to infinity so because u is so what are the, uh, the what are the simple simplifications that we can do directly so this term is simply u into v going from 0 to infinity and this term will be simply 1 by rho del del so del del y dy will simply give us tau 0 to infinity and let us retain the other terms let us retain the other term so what is u at infinity and v at infinity v at infinity is identically 0 because outside the boundary layer we have a unidirectional flow Okay. therefore this term becomes 0 at infinity moreover at 0 u0 and v0 are both 0 by no slip and no penetration boundary condition so this term sim actually v infinity can, can be non-zero so let us write it down so outside the boundary layer it is u infinity into v infinity inside the boundary layer it is u0 v0 and this term is as it is and tau infinity is 0 because outside the boundary layer we don't have any contribution from viscous stress so this is simply minus 1 by rho tau at 0 tau at 0 can be identified as the wall shear stress
So we have integral of ddx of u square dy plus v infinity u infinity minus u0 v0 on the left hand side this is equal to integral of u infinity du infinity dx dy minus tau 0 by rho So this simply becomes u infinity into v infinity, uh, u infinity into v infinity because this term is zero by no penetration, and no slip. So integral del del x of u square dy plus u infinity into v infinity is equal to integral of u infinity del u infinity del x dy minus tau by rho. So from the continuity equation we have del u del x plus del v del y equal to 0. Let us integrate this in y. So integral del u del x dy 0 to infinity plus integral del v del y dy from 0 to infinity is equal to 0 which implies integral del u del x dy from 0 to infinity plus v infinity minus v0 equal to